Hey plant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a sponsored video, but listen, listen, before you click away, I heard you. Ashley, you can't do a sponsor video, just unbox the product, tell us about it. You need a full process. We need, we need to make like a, a video out of it, okay? Okay, so this video is confusing, I'm going to explain. There are four parts. Number one, I'm going to unbox a package from a sponsor for this video. Number two, we're then going to go buy things to put in the things that the sponsor sends me. Number three, I get additional extra special rare plants that are really, really, really rare that were in my wishlist video, last video, and unbox them. And four, we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff with all of that stuff together. So watch the whole video. It's good. I promise it's not like the first sponsor video. It's different and great. And I hope that you enjoy. I had a lot of fun making this video. Today I am sponsored by Poti. They sent me, which is crazy. This is crazy. Can we just talk about, sorry. I, I am experiencing what I see my favorite YouTubers go through every day. So it's just, I don't listen. I don't watch TV. I watch YouTube. So, basically, they sent me a couple of pots. The total cost of these pots is about 23 US dollars, all three of them together. And I'm gonna show you the pots. Then, here's the fun part. You're gonna go houseplant shopping with me. We're gonna find some cute succulents to put in it. Let me just show you the pots that I picked out. They're very on brand for the kind of pots that I like. Here is kind of what it looks like when you open it. Da, 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 da. Look at her. I'm like a freaking YouTuber. Put my hand here. <laughs> Look at my mascara. <laughs> wow. These are so nice. Look, oh my God, a drainage hole. <gasps> here she is. This one's a lot more of a cream complexion. Wow, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. I'm livid, I'm crying. I'm feeling, I'm feeling all of the emotions. Okay, now here comes for the fun part. We got the pots for free, which means we have extra money to spend on plants. Ooh, it's like I'm still serving. Wow! Hand? Does anyone have an extra hand? <laughs> but wow, look at our family. Are you so excited? I'm so excited about wow, my teeth. Oh boy. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. That stuff's normally in my trunk. Don't, anyway, anyways, let's. Back to the show. This is a cactus. That is one of the Mirtillo blue candlestick cactus or Mirtillo geometrizans. Hello. We're excited. I forgot to show you guys where I found this. I decided I'm gonna be getting this one too. I've been looking at a couple different kinds of this cactus for a while. As you can see, they're nice and like blue green. The first place I saw it was at a succulent day and I was like, mm, I don't need it, it's too pokey. But now I'm like, I kind of need it. And the spikes on the top are so black. Oh, Natalie, maybe this one is better. Cause it's all blue. This one has green on it still, which is fine. Barely. But this one's all blue. Mm. He's so little. It's not, though. Like, if you get real close. We're just gonna go with this guy. Because... Yeah, you're right. I can see it is more blue than that one. But... Think about how slow those grow. I know, that's true. Natalie's getting a hernia. <laughs> Sounds weird when you say it. These are the ones that look like lifesavers. Buttholes. Buttholes. They look like oh. buttholes. Okay, so listen. Do you remember literally today, but yesterday, when I posted the video of my houseplant wish list? Yes, actually, you remember. Okay, cool. Because two of those plants on my wish list are actual plants in here here's what i want you to do i want you to right now just guess in the comments what you think the two are 
that are mine. I have been in talks with this wholesaler for like a week, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Nice plants, good pots. Let's do the, I mean, they're both really exciting, but we're gonna do the less exciting one first. Here's how they come. Oh my gosh, you don't even know what's in there. You're gonna die. <sighs> These are literally plants I didn't think I was gonna get to own for probably another couple of years. Like, I'm really, really excited. Please be, please be in good condition. Okay, I have her. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm holding a holy artifact. Ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce to you the Philodendron Melanochrysum. Are you gonna cry or are you gonna cry? I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and then look. Oh, be so careful. Be so careful. We have a brand new leaf. We have two damaged leaves as well. That one. Here's a head test, by the way. These are. This is no joke. I'm so glad that I waited until I found like an actual good seller. I know a lot of people have this plant already, so like if you're not excited for me, sorry that this was boring, but I, these are so expensive right now, there's no way I would have ever been able to afford one without finding a good person who's willing to sell me like a, a real price for a plant and not just like a, I want to take all your money. <laughs> there is currently a few listings for this Milano on um, eBay for some extreme prices. I'll put them right here. Here's one. Here's another. Wow. Sorry, but that is just literally beautiful. Okay, are you ready? This, this next plant, this is why I contacted them. I heard from someone who I'm actually working with now on a few on a few pin designs and sticker designs for you guys, but I was told that they sell this plant for a very good price. So I reached out and oh yeah, it is a very good price. This has been on my wish list for I think four months. For a while on my Instagram, under my wishlist tab, it was only this plant. <sighs> okay. Wow. I'm literally gonna cry. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really trying not to cry. This is the Anthurium varaquianum. Dark, narrow form. Here's a head test. Here's another leaf. So these kind of are a little stunted, it looks like, but I could care less. They're all completely healthy leaves. Oh my gosh, can you see the silver? I'll do a I'll do an extra clip right now. Also, check this out. It has two points of growth. So, I actually, I have to run to class. I will be back sometime soon to put these guys in pots and get them acclimated before I have to go to Seattle. So, here's these two guys. And I'm going to do a silly little clap and I'll be right back. Ready? 
Hey houseplant friends, today's video is sponsored by Pony, which is a houseplant pot delivery service through Amazon. They have really cute pots and let me show you real quick the ones that they gave me and then I'll show you the rest of the pots that I'm going to be using for this video. All three of them come with these little teeny tiny bamboo trays and they have drainage holes. They're super, super cute. I highly recommend it. And now let's get back to the houseplant potting. We have this little guy. So I'm not sure if we'll be using him. We have this is a concrete and sea glass mixture in a little kind of like succulent pot. I'm also not sure if we're gonna be using him, but I mean, I wanna keep my options open. Then we have my favorite pot of all time. The one that I got the other day. And we have this little guy, which I think I might be putting my Anthurium Bakery eye in. Cause I think it'll keep it nice and moist. So this is our, our pots. Oh, and then I have, this pot is not by Poti, but it is very similar. This guy, I haven't decided which plant I'm putting in here yet, but we'll just see how it goes. Let's start with our Poti pots. I went out and bought very specifically some of my favorite cactus ever. It's called Mirtillo Cactus. I just so happened to find some up the road. And I bought this super, super cute little spiky guy. He's blue at the top. So I'm so excited to tell you guys that this weekend I'm going up to Seattle. I'm going to be hanging out with a bunch of amazing plant people that I have come to know over the past couple of months. We're going to be going house plant shopping together and we are going to be going to the Amazon Spheres. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Wow, humidity is 74% over here. Good job, me. I've been literally waiting for this trip for two weeks and it doesn't feel real. I had to wake up early to film this video, which is why my voice is more flat. I literally just woke up. So these ones hurt more. So I wonder how we'll do this. Okay, here's one. Basically this weekend, I'm going to be filming a bunch of houseplant tours and then probably a couple of houseplant hauls. All right, number two. She looks good. Oh, I like her better. This one's my favorite. Thank you for being so patient with uploads for me this weekend or this week. I just, this week all of a sudden I had so much schoolwork to do. I had a video for a client, an advertisement that if you follow me on Instagram, you saw. All right, we got our cactus. Those pots are perfect for the cacti, which is good because your girl is newly indoctrinated into the cactus church. So. Okay, in this one, we're gonna put my Anthurium bakerii, which desperately needs a soil mixture composition. Oh, we have a couple, I understand. Okay, let me grab some soil. Best friend number one. Here is best friend number two. So cute. Okay, I think we'll put the melanochrysum in this one. This is glazed terracotta, so I feel pretty good about that. Maybe I don't know, it might be fun to, that's too shallow. Okay, we'll find something for this, don't worry. I've been thinking actually about saving that pot for a Bro Marks fantasy whenever I get to have one of those. I wonder if she'll fit in here or if it's solid. I personally like putting plants in a smaller medium because they become root bound ten times faster. I am using an orchid bark mix. The war aquianum I am going to be putting in terracotta because we're not messing around here. I'm still learning ceramic, but um, I mean, that's a philodendron, it's gonna be fine. This 
This is my favorite plant that I own, the Warofrianum. So I am going to take this like it is life or death because it is. The cool thing about my Warofrianum is there's actually two plants. You can see that there are very two very clear nodes and there are roots coming from both sides, which is just, I mean, beautiful. Get some soil. And we have our Anthurium Warofrianum all potted. I honestly, I really like that she's kind of like funky looking. If we do straighten her out, she's just fine. She's very tall. I think we're gonna pot up my Dubia. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've had this for a while and it, I, it was in sphagnum, so I thought it was rooting, but it actually just wasn't rooting at all. So I was like, what is going on? And I ended up taking it out, putting it in water. It's been in water for the last couple of months, maybe two months. I pulled it out the other day because I was just like curious because I just didn't think it would root. But it did. And she's got a really cute little root system. What a cutie, can't even believe it. This one is not doing well, which makes me nervous because I literally love this plant. I don't know what I've been doing wrong. Okay, solid. Here he is. And then when I come back from Seattle, I will wrap this guy in sphagnum to help promote growth. Well, all I can say is thank you so much for watching this repot with me, unbox with me, houseplant haul video, something. Please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, please tweet me at David Dobrik. Just kidding, don't do that. And please be sure to check out Pody, link in the description if you want some super cute, super cheap ceramic pot. Sorry that the organization of this video might be a little bit messy. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do separate videos, but I didn't want to give you a two minute unboxing of the pots and the plants and all the stuff. So I just decided to make it one big video. You guys do like the longer videos anyways. So I hope that you liked this weird hybrid and um, Please let me know if you liked this version of a sponsored video better than you liked the first one. If you watched this far, be sure to comment, the queen is here, referring to the dark queen. And I'll see you guys in the next video in Portland or Seattle. All right, bye.